14 of his 31 in the fourth quarter. And that huge three-pointer, he's with Doris. Kevin, the defending champs threw their best punch in what was a must-win, but you guys scored the final 10 or 11 points. So take me through the poise it took to win this one. Well, we, uh, first quarter, we, uh, we were up eight points, I think, seven points, and we, we, uh, we were excited about that because we knew we watched film of last year's team, and they came out and blissed them early. So we just wanted to stay around. We knew they were going to bring a lot of energy in the third quarter. They blissed us. So I think we just stayed. We settled down, and we got stops when we need them. Can you tell us how you walk so confidently into the three when you're down and a finals game is on the line? All I was looking at was the bottom of the net, and I seen uh, he was playing his, his uh, heels was behind the three-point line. And I've been, I've been working on that shot my whole life. And, uh, you know, for that one to go in, you know, that was, that was liberating right there, man. So we got one more win. We got to keep going. As hard as Clay has worked in this series on the defensive end of the floor, what is it like as a teammate to watch him break out? Well, we're just excited for everybody right now. You know, we want everybody to do well. We, we know we can't, we can't win this thing unless we do it together. So uh, Clay was huge. Uh, we're going we're gonna to need that in game four if we want to close this thing out. Kevin, perhaps the best attribute of this team is the unselfish nature of it. Where does that stem from? Well, we practice it every day, you know, and coach talks about it. If if we go a couple possessions without, you know, in the third quarter, we went a few possessions without even moving the ball, he came back and chewed us out. And uh, nobody took it personal. We just tried to go out there and move the ball in the fourth, and we got some stops and uh, was able to make some threes. Thank you for not correcting my math mistake tonight, Kevin. Congratulations, Mike. All right, Doris, 38 in game one, 33 in game two, and 31 here tonight. As Golden State takes the commanding 3-0 lead, and now the Cavaliers in a position that no team has ever crawled out of in an NBA playoff series. And the fans back in Oakland at Oracle Arena watching game three on the big screen, celebrating as their team stays perfect in the postseason, including on the road.